Okay. So, I'm ready to fight the final genie boss. I have approximately 20 premium chickens. Let's count them real quick. Got to make sure you guys are aware of exactly how many chickens you need for the fight. It is 20 premium chickens. I assume everyone will, will be playing Dark Cloud, like all my Dark Cloud friends. I know how popular, um, how popular Fe Final Fantasy VII is. Okay, so my loadout for the Dark Genie is 20 premium chickens, 23 repair potions, powders, and 11 stamina potions. I have a few revives, a few stand-in powders. I purchased them from this store right here in Shipwreck in Queens. So at Warrior's Schwashery at Suzy, you can buy the stamina potions. Because you're unable to throw bombs at... <clears throat> at the boss. Okay. So, I'm gonna head over to... Let me upgrade all my characters. Make sure they're all repaired. Ready to... BTG. Okay. So, I'm gonna head over to the genie. It looks much cooler and more misleading than it actually is. It's not actually that cool. I mean, I'm two days ahead of schedule. I could look better for this. It's fine. Alright, so I'm pre-prepped. So this is the Dark Genie, who is the last boss in Dark Cloud. The Dark Genie is evil, and with Flag, he actually invades the world and destroys all of the towns which you need to rebuild. Obviously, you get Alamilia from each of the dungeons, which have 17 floors. The Alamilia are the spheres, which give you town items which you can use to rebuild each of the towns. Slowly, you could include different stores which will sell you repair powders uh, which you can use obviously if I press triangle I go to my weapon I could click here and select repair with the repair powders that I mentioned previously you could also customize add attachments and then do an upgrade to level it to plus 17 for example or you could build up plus 10 so that's just weapons you could switch characters by pressing the select button and selecting new characters as you unlock them. There are many areas in the games and essentially the top left has your health. The top left has your repair powder and your, your water. You could heal your health by stepping in water and you could do a power attack by holding down the X button and you press circle to lock on. So this is the Dark Genie, the last boss of the video game. You have to attack him with a certain color.
So this game is pretty simple. You essentially use items to heal your characters. So to heal your character, you go to item, you select the food, and you drop it on your character. You could also drop a repair powder on your weapon, and you can put active items up here. And you essentially press left or right on the D-pad to select the item, and you hold square to activate the item. So I could run faster with the Dren's Feather. Dark Cloud very much reminds me of the first Kingdom Hearts video game, in addition to a few other JRPEGs. He looks like the Death Note Black Edition book, which is pretty cool. And Tone, the main character of this game, he vaguely reminds me of Zelda. So the final boss, you just need to match up which element attribute you have to your weapon. So you go to attribute, and you select whichever color corresponds to his hand. He has two hands, you just attack whichever one, like so. And this is just his first... That is just the genie's first form. He does a wind attack, which you can't really avoid. Unless, of course, you're using a stamina potion. So the stained glass behind him is pretty cool if you've played uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I know Kingdom Hearts 3 starts out in water. But Kingdom Hearts 2, you essentially start on a, a stained glass kind of thing. I felt like this was like a suggestion for... Sephiroth, like if you played Final Fantasy 7, then you understand. The first form of uh, Sephiroth kind of looks like this, which is pretty cool, very interesting. So the evil sized sword which I'm using is an upgraded version, build up, of the Serpent Sword, which you get from Matataki Village, the second village, because there are multiple areas in this game. The first is No Rune Village, the second is Matataki Village, the third is Shipwreck, or Queens, the fourth is The fourth is the pyramid area, and then the last area is moon, or yellow drop. And then you go to Dark Heaven Castle to fight the Dark Genie. The Dark Genie is a really cool boss. He reminds me of Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z. If you've ever watched seasons 7 through 9 in Dragon Ball Z, you can watch the Majin Buu saga. I also like DBZ Fusion Reborn, the movie. I felt like that was a good version of it. I like how he looks like a bat, kind of. I like, um, I used to read about like vampires and stuff in Bram Stoker Dracula or Sir K. Du Freak by Darren Chan. The moon people on here remind me of Tiny from the book series, uh, Sir K. Du Freak, which has Vampire Wars, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Oblivion. It's the main quest line. This boss kind of looks a little bit like Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. He looks like Dark. Uh, which is the demon half-brother of the main character. 
and essentially there's a stained glass area where you get your sword and they have gargoyles there as well um, similar to the Daedric Shrine quests in Oblivion or the guardians of the grotesque guardians in old school runescape so the first part of this fight takes quite a bit I am recording it though so I can put it on YouTube I don't even feel like editing it to be honest I have the Death Note Black Edition book. The Death Note Black Edition book, the first like few pages are colored, which is pretty cool. Death Note is a book about like a death dealer. He drops a book somewhere and then essentially whoever reads it becomes the new Death Note. I never finished the manga, but they do have a movie series on Netflix, which I did not watch. Not that I didn't want to, it's just, that's just how it worked out. Like my TV was kind of, my TV was kind of like, I don't know, I avoided that area. Like I had my PS4 unplugged in general. I didn't like where my PS4 was. And I, like I had the Xbox on, which had a better Twitch interface. Like, I have a lot of outlets down there, but I had my PSVR plugged in and all that stuff, so... So, once I beat the, the boss's first form, he starts to shoot lasers at me. And I'm going to switch over to Osmond, and I'm going to use the laser gun, the ray gun, on him. Similar to Noctare on Toten in Call of Duty Zombies. I'm very good at Call of Duty Black Ops with Zombies. I'm glad to be getting this this fight over with because I'm moving on to the next game and like I have free time um, in between my interviews in general I have a lot of running like I've been doing cardio I randomly got like a week of like um, like a week of 90 degrees in April, which is extremely rare. Okay. I feel like my, my Baldur's Gate playthrough could have been a little bit better. Alright, so now it looks like I'm on a second form. I just need to dodge his lasers. Press triangle, switch my allies to Osmond. And I'm going to press item. And I'm going to use a stamina potion. So, the stamina drink, when you use it, is... So, when you use the stamina drink, you press circle to lock on. And his laser, you just have to avoid it. And the wind attacks is do zero damage. Press circle. And don't try to waste too much weapon XP. Because you need to do you need to hit him quite a bit. You just need to take your time and use the stamina drinks on his second form. Avoid the splash damage from his lasers. And take zero damage from his wind. And not waste your 
So I have the Hexablaster equipped with Osmond. This is a very good weapon for him. The weapons, you find them randomly in the video game. Um, in big chests as you progress through the dungeons. <laughs> So those eyes on the wall there, they remind me of the Resident Evil 2 train. They also remind me a little bit of the Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirit's last boss. Um, RE2 has a special ending with like a, like a massive, like a massive, one second. So RE2 has like a massive, like, it looks like monster blood from Goosebumps on the train that essentially, it's like an optional boss on the second playthrough, I think, as I think the woman in the video game. Because I beat it with Leon, so I assume it's with uh, Claire Redfield, is how you get the, the huge sludge monster on the train. I beat the game on the PSP 3000. Um, I downloaded it from the PS3 with my PSP 3000 via USB. So I beat Resident Evil 2 Classic on my PSP, which was a very fun time. Um, I really enjoyed doing that. I beat the majority of RE3 on my PSP 3000 as well. You have to make sure you have the right PSP. Um, that's just how it works. I tried to do it on the, the normal PSP. That does not work. Um, okay. And that's how it works. You gotta get the right PSPs. Also, some of the PSPs, um, they don't work with the PC. For my Connect PSP to PC uh, YouTube video. So you need to make sure you have the right PSP for that as well, because there's a special connector to connect it to to connect it to the PC, the PSP to the PC. So not only do you need a PSP 3000 or PS3 to PSP games, you also need the one with the special connector uh, to connect it to the PC to stream. So. I know back in the day, I read about Death Jr., the first PSP video game. Um, I read about that in one of the Game Informers. Death Jr. also has a GameCube series as well, which seems relatively interesting. I used to watch Nick Nick Jr. with Mr. Face, or whatever his name was. The guy that was like the face on the screen. That was a very fun program. I, I used to sing along with it. I'd be like, it was like, the face guy. I was like, I love the face guy. Not really, um, but I did watch Blue's Clues for like an extended period of time because they still did have cat dog and other shows like that on the network so blues clues would end up rolling over into it and i, I used to watch it um obviously i haven't watched tv since like 2010 i used to always watch tv i miss tv but i haven't watched any tv since 2010 i used to watch like Everything. Room Raiders, um, Next, um, everything. But I watched all of the Netflix stuff before Netflix became cool. Like, I watched Breaking Bad, all of it. I watched all of Lost very early on in like seventh grade. I watched Dexter 
watched uh, all of the TV shows. Uh, I forget what they are. I own all of them though, like on Blu-ray, so I don't particularly care because I won't forget, so yeah, I'm going through all of the my favorite games. Um, like I have a really big collection of arcade video games, which um, like obviously being like a disabled Abercrombie model fighting the Dark Genie has always been my dream. I used to always sit here and like I was wearing Abercrombie clothing, not really, because I played this in like fourth grade and I was like I, that I want to do that, like I want to become dark genie and play video games it's always about playing video games and having apps and everyone pretended that they liked video games and that they liked Abercrombie but they didn't actually live the Abercrombie lifestyle which I discussed um, in detail in my prior stream while farming Hopefully enough stamina potions for this fight. Even if it's not enough for this fight, I should generally be able to defeat him. I hope. I, I don't know how I beat this guy back in the day. Um, I don't know how I beat this game. That's kind of intimidating. I'm pretty sure half of like my friendship, like for half a year, we just sat there playing FF9 and fighting the Dark Genie and playing uh, Shogun Total War on PC with uh, with um, samurai warriors and cutscenes with ninjas sneaking into the dojo or the tent and hitting people with katanas as we played. Um, Shadow Run, which was released with the Halo 3, uh, the Halo 3 beta. Oh, so now I'm getting to his third form. So his third form, you have to attack the gem within his mouth. Very exciting. So here is the third and final form of the Dark Genie. It looks a little bit like... Zoids. Um, um, it looks like. Oh. It looks like Zoids, New Century Zero. So you have to avoid, obviously, those attacks in particular. So I'm going to eat my stamina potion and repair my weapon before I fight. So I assume the stamina potion will protect me from all harm. I'm gonna run at him and I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna take out his his warriors. I'm gonna attack his mouth. And heal up a little bit more. Obviously the stamina potions are highly important for this part of the fight. And also having a strong having a strong sword. I can't really take a screenshot, but I am recording, so this works out. Oh my god. I beat this back in the day. Okay. I'm so dead. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna charge him with Goro. I have the wrong sword out, obviously. That was a huge mistake. I'm gonna dodge his beam attack and hit him in the mouth. 
Let me repair his thing real quick. This is a pretty intense fight. So I'm gonna dodge his, his beams and hit him in the mouth. Just run away from the other people and watch out for the huge laser. And it's splash damage. Okay. Fine. So if I run over here, he's unable to reach me. He runs out of blazer eventually. I can't lock on. Oh, you could hit him like that. Okay. That works. This is a pretty intense fight. Okay. So... I'm gonna use my revival powder on Tone, obviously. He's way more powerful. That's a waste of a stand-in powder. So, I'm just gonna switch to a character I don't care about for the lightning part. Just let, uh, let him, like, take the damage. Okay. This is pretty, pretty cool fight, dude. I'm definitely enjoying this. I don't know how I beat this back in the day. Keep getting stuck on the skeletons, dude. can't seem to beat this boss. Um, it's pretty difficult. But it looks like if you run in a circular motion, his laser misses you. Um, I like his like neon color. Um, it reminds me of Clown 2016 the movie. And also Enter the Void the movie, which I own. And he kind of looks like the Ruby Fire Pokemon. Uh, I guess Typhlosion or whatever his name is. I could definitely have used, um, maybe like, you definitely need a trans feather here. I definitely could have gone for like, maybe 22 stamina potions here, and that would have worked out a little bit better, um, but I should be able to win with exactly this item set, specifically. I hope. This is a uh, pretty insane. Uh, switch from the prior bosses. Especially considering how much I leveled my sword. I must have really trained hard for the Ice Queen or something. I guess this is how good Kingdom Hearts was. Um, and Final Fantasy. This is a rare find of the game. Honestly, it's a pretty good fight. I'm analoging all around. I'm like fighting the analog stick. Running in circles. And dizzy fighting this dude. Okay. Dark Genie is making me dizzy, dude. Oh my god. We win. So this looks like he has like the holy materia in his mouth. Um, from FF7. Obviously Aeris uh, dies. And then... She drops like the holy materia. This kind of looks like the holy materia. I was wondering where um, Omega Weapon went in uh, FF7, but they put him in the Dirge of Cerberus game with Vincent. But I was also wondering where the other 
Nice. So I beat the last boss in Dark Cloud. Very powerful. That, uh, indeed, you possess great power. But I am immortal. Every time I fall, I will be reborn again. Don't you see the futility of it? Killing me is wasted energy, a hopeless exercise. I am infinite. I said, like, tone, like, tone. That was the old guy. No, oh, the genie will return if you don't get rid of Seda's hate energy. Look around you carefully. Just listen up, tone. Atla Milio has the power to seal almost anything in Atla, but its power extends beyond that. Now is the time to use that hidden power, the power to bring a lost soul back. That Amelia will be consumed, but with its final power, it can do one thing. It can bring a soul into At Amelia. It is not too late. Call out for Sophia's wandering soul. Damn, dude. Everything makes sense in, in Jerpeg. I feel so bad for Sephiroth. Damn, dude. That was like the fatal 10 death of Ben 10, Alien Force, and Danny Phantom. Zeta. Sophia. Wow. It's kind of cool. This looks like, um, this makes me want to play Ephemeral Fantasia. I don't know if it's actually good. This game was way longer than I remember. All I remember is the Snake Boss and then the Dark Genie. I have no idea how I beat the Dark Genie. I must have had to do a lot of leveling. I don't even know if I knew about Stamina Potions. I had to have known. Oh my god, let me out of this game, please. Fucking Christ. I finished my energy drink already. I wish I could do anime interviews, like, while while like interviewing at the bank. Like speak to... I know uh, on Twitch they have an anime bot. It's called like Vidal, V-E-D-O-L or something. And she has like four, it's like an, an animated like uh, JPEG of like an anime woman. And she's like a bot that just speaks to the chat. A new history. Oh, I missed the I missed all the lore. I like how they have moons there. That's so cool. They created like their own blood moon. Oh 
Oh my god. So, these are the, the credits for the game. Oh, there, there, there's my friend. My friend with his hammer. He, he was a riot shield man. There's Umgaga. So after you beat the final boss, you unlock the demon shaft, which you can use in order... So after... There's the snake. So after you beat the final boss, there's the demon shaft, and there's 100 levels for it. And at the end, you fight a black knight, and you get Tone's ultimate sword. Damn, dude, I can't believe I beat Dark Cloud. I still didn't beat Bloodborne, though. It's so whack. And I, I need to do Dark uh, Souls 3 DLC, specifically. Perfect. I have that recorded for YouTube, so I can edit that in 4K. Hopefully the recording doesn't go too long that it doesn't fit. I think I have like a gigabyte or a terabyte free, so it should be good regardless. Check out my, my shy guy now that the credits ended. I have a Shy Guy Nintendo toy. There's the original Dark Genie from the beginning of the game. His entire helmet skull is held up by his fangs. Very impressive. Okay, so what is this, the cutscene after the game? So weird if instead of dungeons they just had like the monsters like out like on a world map that game would have been completely different a new land is added to the world map so after you defeat the dark genie you could obviously unlock the demon shaft which has 100 levels so you can get tone's ultimate weapon and fight the black knight at the end of the demon shaft Nice. I'm gonna log off. That's pretty cool.